grill stove outside and we're going to do a burn test today. Uh, I brought this pipe over from my trailer. It's seven inch though so it's a little big but it just kind of sets over there um, enough and I'm going to tilt the damper so it's wide open because we need a full-on burn. You guys see that down in there? Oops, it's not totally open. That's totally open now. Why is that? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, maybe because I have the... Uh, yeah, it's because I got the stack on there. So anyways, I cut up a bunch of pallet wood because that's all I could get at this time. And it's probably wet a little bit. But um, yeah, we're going to load the stove and do a burn test. And hopefully the city doesn't come by and say, what the hell's that? <laughs> But like I said, uh, we're just going to burn all this paint and stickers and crap off the setup. And then I'm going to run over to the uh, hardware store, which are still open. And I'm going to get some high temp um, trim clad high temperature paint, black, fat, flat black, to repaint and coat this thing. And I'm also going to get the, uh, um, the, the gasket, because you can see here... A little bit of air is going to leak through there. Not so much on this side, but definitely on this side. Um, cause just because it doesn't pull in that flush. See, I can push it in a little bit with my fingers. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. I got the damper wide open. And I'm just probably going to do a full burn just to get it going and then damp it down because I don't want it going out of control and burning holes in this thing. And then we'll go from there. Now, uh, they recommend two inch layer of sand in the bottom of the barrel, but I'm not doing that until it's in the tiny house because that would be heavy as hell and make this thing super awkward to move around. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna load up this thing with some uh, wood and we'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I loaded it pretty heavy. I could obviously keep going forever and ever because this thing can take so much lumber, it's crazy. So what I did was uh, I had a couple pallets with nails sticking up. I put those up facing this way so it keeps the lumber kind of off the bottom for a little bit. And I'm probably going to start the fire down in here somewhere or even up here kind of in the middle. And uh, I got to go get all my fire starting gear. And I will be back to run the test. I'll, I'll wait for my dad though, because I'll just get it set up and ready, and then I'll light it, and I'll wait for him to come for that. So, be back in a bit. Still got plenty of lumber to burn too.